Hello everybody and thank you so much for joining me. This is Sierra from Sierra Tita Designs and today I have a slimline birthday card to share with you. So let's jump right in. So to start I always cut down my paper and I've been showing it on camera recently because this is a slimline card. So I have a standard piece of paper here, or cardstock, sorry, and it is uh, 8.5 by 11 and I just trim off the 4 inches at the end to give myself a 7 inch card. So when you score it in the middle, it's going to be three and a half inches. And then I also cut a black mat. If you've been with me for a little while, you'll know that I really enjoy uh, matting all of my cards on black, especially if I'm doing white base. Um, so that's just kind of my usual go-to. And then here I'm going to cut a panel for the top, and that will be the piece that goes over top of the black mat and where we do all of our blending. So that is a piece of 80-pound Nina Solar White card. So I just trimmed a little bit off, and you'll see that I always kind of eyeball it, and I'll place my uh, panels together to see if I have the distance between them. It's usually about an eighth of an inch is how much border I give myself. And then here you can see I'm using my scoring buddy to score my slimline card. You score it three and a half inches, and that will give us our slimline side fold card. <clears throat> so for this card, I'm actually going to do a collab with Annalisa. Uh, she reached out to me and asked if I wanted to do a collab with her, and I jumped at the opportunity because I've this is my first collab, and I'm so excited. Uh, let's jump back to the card, and I'll give you a little more information. So I have used my anti-static powder bag to powder the back of this card just because it's quite dry where I live, so it's difficult to get my powder to stick, my embossing powder to stick where I want it to stick. So I have to embed use an anti-static powder to a pretty heavy on my cards and then I just have a balloon image and this is from the Simon Says Stamp a big birthday greeting set and it's just a solid balloon image and I'm using my Versamark ink and I'm going to put balloons all up this card so my whole kind of premise behind this card is that I wanted all these balloons flying off of the card and I thought it would be a lot easier to just use a stamping block to do this. So I'm just going to keep doing that. And then later we'll add a sentiment and go into some ink blending. And we're going to use a iridescent uh, clear embossing powder. And uh, then we're going to distress oxide ink blend over top. And here we're going to put this. You're going to see how sparkly this powder is. It's amazing. And everything that I use in these, the video will be linked and listed down below, so never worry. If, if I forget to mention something, I promise it is linked below the video, so you can go and check it out if you're interested. So back to the collab. So Annalisa reached out to me, and I jumped on the opportunity. It was so great. Um, I recently found out she's also a smaller YouTuber, a smaller crafty YouTuber. So if you've never heard of her, please go and check out her channel. It will be listed in the description below. It'll be the first link in the description. And go and give her a like, subscribe if you like what she's made. And yeah, it's just a fun, really fun way for us to have new subscribers discover us. So the rules on our card, and there weren't many, uh, it's actually Annalise's birthday the day this is going up, so go and wish her a happy birthday, um, was that we were going to make birthday cards, that was our theme, and we wanted to use our favorite colors. So hers was a teal or turquoise, and mine is purple. So that was the only rules to this card, is that we were going to, oh and here quickly, sorry, I'm going to show you how I've started storing my uh, blending foams, the domed foams. Um, I'm going to have a video on this next week um, and I'm gonna this is a free download for you guys to go to my blog and you can download the files and I will have a whole blog post on how to make these and how to store them because I've been struggling on a way to store the domed foams so yeah I made my own so I'm gonna share that with you guys next week sorry back to this so yes the only rules to our cards were that we were going to use birthday theme and we were gonna use teal or turquoise and purple so <laughs> you're going to be amazed when you go and check out her card how great minds think alike. Now, I, I don't want to spoil it for you, but um, I just when you see her card, you'll understand. Because that was the only rules we set on it. And we both made our cards, and uh, neither of us had seen the other person's card. Um, so yeah, you're going to be a little bit surprised at how great minds think alike when you go and check out her card. But back to my card here. So I'm going to use three oxide inks. I used... Let me check my notes. Uh, Peacock Feathers, Wilted Violet, and Dusty Concord. And I'm creating a bit of an ombre between each layer to kind of give a... I mean, it's not an easy ombre between a green and a purple, or a tealy and a purple, but I think it looks pretty cool. And I just love the oxide inks for blending. They're just stunning. 
Um, if you ever struggle to blend too, the uh, domed foams are a kind of a game changer in my opinion. Um, they make blending seamless. It's so stunning when you put your tool down and you don't end up with harsh harsh edges, which I did find was a bit of a struggle when I was using the flat foams. So if you struggle at all, give this a chance and see what you think. Um, I love the dome foams. I actually have some more coming in the mail, hopefully this week with my new speckled egg distress oxide ink. I'm so excited to try that color, but but yeah, so we're just going to blend on the colors over top of the embossing and I'm going to work on my blends until I like how the blend is working. Then I'm going to take my microfiber cloth and we're going to buff off the ink that is sitting on top of the balloons because the embossing uh, ink or sorry embossing powder will resist the ink so it's pretty easy to clean it off and then have like your solid image pop back through so that's what we're going to do here but yeah so if you could go and give Annalisa a like go and wish her happy birthday and go and check out the card that she made and you will see how great minds think alike it's a little bit is surprising but yeah it was it's pretty awesome so and then we're just gonna keep buffing off these balloons and then we're gonna move on to I believe we're gonna stamp the sentiment next we'll have to see it's been a little bit since I edited this video so I'm a little bit I don't always remember what step came next when I <laughs> edit the videos because I try to edit them in advance and then I usually oh no you know what I lied we're gonna do some splatter so there was a couple of blank areas in between the clouds. So I wanted to just add a little bit of splashes from the three colors. So it kind of blends in. But because oxide inks like to sit on top, uh, they still stand out with the other colors. So even though I'm putting, say, like I'll put the dark purple over the teal or the teal over top of the um, dusty concord, it'll still you'll still easily be able to see it because the inks sit so nicely on top of the other distress oxides that it just they work so well uh, and I use my glass mat for all of this if you have never used a glass mat um, but you do a lot of blending a lot of splashes a lot of um, uh, what's the one where you you lay it down and then you smushing I guess it's called the smushing technique if you do a lot of that the glass mat is amazing for that or any piece of glass even if you have any tempered glass that you can uh, put down and work on it's amazing for any kind of blending it's just so smooth and I found that it makes it almost a smidge easier to do because you don't catch as you go onto the paper but of course these are just my opinions um, I do know some people prefer uh, to use different different mediums but but you're here to see me, so this is my opinion. But if you guys love the glass mat, or don't, if you have a glass mat and you didn't like something about it, let me know what you didn't like. I'm curious, because I do see sometimes people say that they didn't enjoy something about it, and I'm never totally sure what uh, what they didn't enjoy. So here we're going to take one of the sentiments out of the same stamp, at, stamp set. This is the same stamp set, the Simon Says Stamp Big Birthday Greetings stamp set. And we're going to use the same uh, Dusty Concord to stamp the sentiment inside of the card. And I used a stamping platform for this. You can't actually get this stamping platform anymore, um, but there are so many on the market. Uh, Misty's, there. I think uh, Stampin' Up makes one. Uh, this just happens to be the one that I own. Um, but they just make stamping consistently so easy, and I love it. And did you see that I actually remembered to stamp in the base before I added the layers on? I don't always remember to do that, so I did this time. And this is also a sentiment from the same stamp set. It just says, Happy Birthday. I know, sorry, this sentiment is from the Alta New Halftone Stars sentiment. This is not from the Simon Says Stamp sentiment. Um, that, that's an Alta New sentiment. Sorry about that. And then I'm going to take my Nouveau Deluxe Glue and I'm going to glue down my panels onto my base. And then I'm going to add a ton of gems. Um, I went a little bit crazy on these gems, I'll be honest with you. You don't need this many. You honestly could have ended it here. Um, once I glued down the main panel, you could have ended the card here and it would have just been stunning. But uh, I like glitter, and so I had to add a bunch of glitter. Um, yeah, that's just how I roll, you know. And we kind of end up, I find as crafters, we end up with so many that y you need to use them, right? Like, otherwise they just sit there. And then I end up with way too much stuff. So I used more than I needed, but I, <laughs> I love them. So what do you do, hey? So this is a set from Pink Fresh Studios. This is the Essential Mix. 
and I pulled out the teal and the purple crystals and then I just laid a whole bunch of them all across the card uh, I don't know I love it I love sparkle you guys and they come in three different sizes in the little containers and they come with like you saw that whole container there's a whole bunch of them in there and I just thought that was such a cool way to display them even so I use them in uh, some of my still images when I take the pictures from my cards because they make such a beautiful um, accent image and I I told you guys like I added so many of these um, I just could not resist I love the bling and I'm actually going to send this card to Annalisa to wish her a happy birthday. So Annalisa, when you're watching this, happy birthday. Uh, thank you so much for the collab. I really enjoyed working with you and I'm really enjoying the chance to talk to somebody that uh, is in the same boat, that understands, you know, how much fun this can be and how much um, it's so fun to be able to inspire others to create things. So if you're from Annalisa's channel, thank you so much for stopping by. I'd love to have you subscribe. And if you're from mine, thank you so much for stopping by again and checking out what I'm up to. I can cannot express how much uh, having you guys come by means to me and how much it's amazing to have you comment and say what you like and and tell me about what you're creating and any of that so thank you so much guys for stopping by I'm going to show you a close-up of the card right here and you can tell me what you thought of this card um, there's a lot of bling I know <laughs> that's how I roll I love it but we will see you guys again so soon and thank you so much for stopping by and I cannot wait to make our next card. So I will see you again on Monday. Thank you so much, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>